from the Associate Professor, Department of Business Administration. And today, uh, the current topic, what I what I'm going to be select is uh, uh, financial uh, statement analysis. Financial statement analysis. Financial statement analysis. So here, uh, in order to know the uh, financial performance of uh, uh, any organization, maybe a uh, partnership or cooperative society or maybe a private limited or public limited or government, under, government sector undertaking. So whatever the form of business organization, in order to know the profitability of the company, the efficiency of the company and what about the, okay, when, we, when they compare to their competitor, what about their position and in order to know the uh, their, okay, yeah, their company return with relevant to the industry return, here this uh, financial statement analysis is going to be help in order to know the uh, performance of the company, in order to know the profitability of the company and in order to analyze their okay, uh, turnover with compared to their competitor and to compare their uh, performance with their okay, uh, other company and to compare their uh, company performance with industry, here financial statement in analysis is going to be helped. Right. So here, uh, in case of this uh, financial statement analysis, here the major, when we are observing these uh, characteristics of this uh, financial statement analysis, okay, here whatever the quantitative data, they are furnished by this accountant. So here, uh, the next level, okay, maybe a manager, or the person, okay, the chief manager or the top level people, they are going to be analyze the whatever the data furnished and uh, recorded by the lawyer, okay, that is lawyer or clerical, clerical uh, grade category people. Say for example, accountant, whatever the data recorded by the accountant in the journal, so here, here accountant is uh, the data whatever he furnished in this journal is going to be transferred to the ledger, from the ledger they will prepare a trial balance and from this trial balance here they are going to be prepared uh, in, in case of uh, manufacturing company, in case of uh, manufacturing company, in case of manufacturing uh, firm, here uh, these are the uh, four stages generally they will uh, prepare. Here the first and foremost stage is okay, uh, manufacturing account, manufacturing uh, account. Here this manufacturing account it complete deals with uh, so whatever the amount they have spent for uh, various uh, maybe the direct expenses and indirect expenses. And uh, here uh, in preparation of these financial statements of manufacturing organization. So here in case of manufacturing argument, the second stage is okay, here a trading account is a, a second stage in financial statement and third one is a profit and loss account or maybe some people they will call this a profit and loss account as an income statement, of course they may call it as a profit income statement. So here in this income statement we are comparing the, in order to know the profit, here we are comparing the expenses with the revenue so that here we are calling it as income okay statement and fourth stage is uh, balance sheet and the fourth stage here it is uh, balance sheet. So these are the four stages prepared by the manufacturing organization and whereas in case of uh, trading organizations. So here in case of uh, trading organizations they will prepare only uh, okay. Uh, two stages, okay. they are prepare only three stages, one is, uh, they will prepare only three statements, one is, uh, in case of trading organization, so here the first statement what they are preparing is uh, trading account, and uh, third one is uh, profit and loss account, and third one is uh, profit and loss account, and uh, here the uh, fourth okay, statement whatever they are preparing is a uh, uh, balance sheet. Here whatever they are preparing is a balance sheet. So here in case of these okay, uh, manufacturing account, trading account and profit and loss account, both okay, they are follow this uh, dual aspect of okay concept. According to this, uh, why we are calling it as an account, they are following the, uh, based on the dual aspect concept. Here all these uh, statements we are preparing. And uh, whereas this balance sheet okay, shows the only, here we are comparing the only assets and liabilities. Here it is not an account balance sheet, it is only statement where we are comparing the SS with the liabilities. In case of this trading organization, these are the three stages. 
so whatever the financial statements prepared by the either the accountant so they are analyzed by the top level people so maybe okay this okay who are the chief executing officer so those who are at the top level that people they are going to be analyze this financial statement analysis so here in order to analyze this financial statement okay here in order to analyze all this whatever the statement they are prepared as a trading account or profit and loss account and balance sheet here uh, the top level people are these uh, analysts the financial analysts okay here they are using uh, uh, different tools in order to know the profitability of the company in order to know the efficiency of the company uh, for inter okay in for intra firm comparison for intra firm comparison so here uh, these are the tools which are used by the uh, top level people here the first and foremost these are the tools tools of uh, financial statement analysis tools of uh, financial uh, statement analysis so these are by using these tools so all these analysts okay they are going to be uh, they will uh, okay know the profitability of the company so they will know the operating efficiency of the company and okay they may analyze the so here okay uh, efficiency of the company among all these okay uh, various tools of uh, financial statement analysis the first and foremost one is uh, comparative analysis comparative analysis so this is uh, one of the tool okay what they are going to be used comparative analysis in case of comparative analysis here okay they will compare the previous year okay quantitative data previous year accounting data with the present year in order to forecast okay in order to estimate their profitability in future period so here is okay whatever the previous data so that they are going to be compare with the present year data and okay by comparing here in case of comparative analysis so previous year data by comparing with the present year they will know the okay what are the uh, strengths and weaknesses of the company and what are the opportunities are available for the company that they are going to be analyze in case of comparative analysis here generally they will go for uh, either comparative income statement analysis comparative balance sheet okay here these are the uh, okay two ways of analyzing these uh, two techniques generally they will use and second category is okay second tool uh, more where most of the firms they are using is uh, common size analysis common size analysis like uh, comparative analysis in case of common size also they are using okay common size income statement analysis common size balance sheet analysis and after that the here to get the third tech tool what they are going to analyze is uh, trend analysis here uh, in case of trend analysis so they will take okay nearly uh, 3 to 4 years or 5 to 6 years of work okay either sales or okay or maybe uh, their profits or their whatever the different types of kinds of expenditure they are incurring all they are going to be uh, okay their differences they will okay calculate and based on the difference the difference amount whatever they are obtained in case of this okay by comparing one year data with another data the difference amount they are going to identify that amount they are going to be convert into percentages so okay then they are going to be analyze the trend of the company either in terms of sales in terms of their operating expenses in terms of their non operating expenses that they are going to be analyze and here after that okay the another fourth tool whatever they are going to be use is okay ratio analysis here okay another okay uh, financial statement analysis tool which they are using is ratio analysis here what do you mean by ratio just is a ratio is a in general when we are speaking a ratio is a, a numerical expression okay this is comparison between two variables okay it is okay when we are expressing the relation between two variables of course we may call it as rational for example you know if you want to know what is the profitability of the company either by using okay gross profit analysis or by using the net profit analysis they are going to be analyze the okay financial performance of the company so here okay these ratios are classified into different categories here okay ratio is an okay express ratio is a numerical expression between two variables and in order to analyze the uh, long term solvency of the company in order to know the short term solvency and okay to know the turnover of the company and to know what is the capital structure position of the company and what about the general profitability and what is the overall profitability of the company it are not know that here okay ratio analysis this is another tool which they are going to be ratio analysis 
so here the okay, the main purpose of ratio analysis is uh, to know the what is the short term solvency position of the company what is the long term solvency and what about the uh, capital so what about the leverage and they are going to be analyzed and finally here okay the another technique that okay another tool what they are going to be used okay as a part of uh, uh, financial statement analysis funds flow okay analysis funds flow analysis is also another tool and okay next one another tool what they are okay what generally of the top level or analysts they are doing this another tool is uh, cash flow analysis cash flow analysis is uh, another tool which is available okay which is available for all these uh, okay analysts okay. these are the various tools so here uh, in order to analyze the financial statements so these are the various tools either comparative analysis common sense analysis trend analysis ratio analysis funds flow analysis and cash flow analysis so these are the various tools used by all anal financial analysts to know the profitability and the efficiency of the company